Right. Well, here we are um, in Kinshasa in the uh, DR Congo, and we're at the Mission for Vision Eye Center that we are uh, going to be opening up today. Today, the, the subject is going to be dispensing spectacle frames. It's all about choosing the right frame for the correct patient. And then we begin, we're going to be looking at the different tools involved in doing the frame adjustment. So everybody is different. All our faces are different, our heads are different sizes. So it's important that when we are choosing a frame, that we choose the correct frame for that person. And we don't just pick up any old frame and, and try and make it fit. So um, we're going to look at some different types of frames. Frames come in various uh, forms and shapes and materials. The main materials um, in optics is, is metal and plastic. So you've got metal frames and plastic frames. And they, there are some advantages and disadvantages with both types of frames. Okay. Most people choose a frame for what it looks like. But we also need to be able to choose a frame that actually is comfortable to wear. And therefore, um, it's good to choose frames that we can adjust correctly for that patient. Okay. Right, now remember what we were saying um, that the DCD, which is the, you remember the DCD is the distance, it's the datum center distance of the frame, which is the distance from the outside of this lens to the inside of this lens at the central point. That's called the DCD. And when you're choosing a frame for someone, you usually choose a frame where the DCD is either the same or slightly bigger than their PD. The PD is the distance between their pupils. Okay, so I'm going to, on Remy, I'm going to measure his PD. So if you could look at my finger. Okay. And just follow my finger across. So Remy's PD is 74 millimeters. Therefore we need to find a frame which has a DCD of round about 74 to 76. Or even, you can go even a little bit bigger than that. So I found a frame here where the DCD is 76. In fact it's more like 77. So this would be a very good size frame for Remy. We can put that on and I would say that that is a very good fitting frame for him. Now there are other elements of the adjustment that we need to consider and one of those is the head width. Everyone has different w size heads. So uh, we're going to measure the head width now and see um, while Remy is here I'm going to just use you. Now to use a head width you, you can do it by sort of guesswork but basically the, the, the head width is the distance between here and here. There are rulers that you can get which um, enable us to measure that very quickly but we don't have one here for now but you can use two rulers um, to get a rough idea. So you place one ruler with the zero where you feel corresponds to the outer part of the head at this side and then you use the other ruler and just drop it perpendicularly and the measurement for Remy is, is 150. So it's about 150 millimeters. So you want the distance between the sides to be 150 to correspond to that. And if you place the, if you place the uh, sides on top of the ruler, you'll see that the distance between those two is about, one, it's about 140, which is not bad. Naturally speaking, the frame is actually fairly good. If a frame really fits well, if it's the right size, it would normally fit quite nicely without too much adjustment. So there are different tools available to enable us to adjust the frame and uh, with metal frames we were showing you earlier that we have this is a, a plier which has got a, a narrow metal piece on one side and a nylon piece on the other and it's been designed like that to enable us to adjust a metal frame without scratching it. So what we do is we take the frame 
Now this is a, a this is a the means of adjusting the head width. We we just found that this frame is slightly narrower than Remy's head size, and the way to adjust the head width or the angle, the let back angle, is to just use the pliers and in that way. So the metal is on the inside, the nylon is on the outside. It won't scratch the metal that way, and then you can either move the side out or you can move it in depending on what you need to do for that patient. It's important that the two sides usually are parallel. If you have one side that is coming in too much and one side sticking out too much so that the sides are not parallel, the frame will sit at a funny angle and um, you know they, they will you will find if you look down you will find that um, the, the frame is twisted so make sure that you adjust the sides so that they they correspond equally okay they must be parallel they must be parallel okay. that's right okay so that's good so that's the um, that's that one adjustment the other adjustment that is important and um, is the the length to bend okay which is the length from the hinge here so it's the length from there to the where the bend is now um, you can make the side longer or shorter in some cases so I'll show you what we're doing with that so let's put this frame on Remy and in this case we can see that the side the bend is a little bit too far away okay so that that is a bit loose that will slip okay so if you look at me Remy that's lovely and I'm going to just now I said we would normally heat using the frame heater which is in the laboratory which is hot air it will make the plastic less likely to break but because it's so warm today I think we'll try it without and then I'll just bend it slightly and I'm going to get the head width right for Remy because uh, remember he was 150 so we place the frame on the ruler and we we set the sides so that they correspond to 150 and there we have the sides that are nice and parallel and I've, I've made the side shorter now so if we place that on Remy if you look that way Remy if you move your head that's it you can see that the side is now corresponding to the ear so it, the side is sitting nice and flat mm -hmm. on the top of the ear if it was too short as it was with Vincent if I make this side too short and we put that on you'll see what happens you've got the side sticking up and that's wrong okay so and also that affects the angle of the the, the front angle here so it's very important that we make that adjustment correctly all right and you do it of course you do it see that's nice there it's sitting flat it's not too tight and um, the, the glasses won't slip forward so that, that's a comfortable fit okay and you obviously you do the same for both sides and then the patient will be very happy with with the fitting of the frame so that is length to bend so we've done length to bend we've done the head width the other the other is the angle of the side tip and how it it, it goes inwards usually um, but everyone's heads are different so sometimes you need to you need that tip to be bent outwards if they have a bony piece here so let's have a let me just um, make it too much okay so I've adjusted the frame and I've bent it right in okay and I will put that there you can see that that's not fitting very well this is pushing the side out it's not going to be comfortable and if you face the camera um, Remy you'll, just here you'll see the side is not flat against the head so that is too much so you, you bend it just just a little bit and there we have the correct fitting all right if it's if you have it too much the other way like that just exaggerating a little bit again it won't be very good 
it's it's sticking out, and it, that will that will rub on the ear sometimes. So that angle is another thing that you must consider when you're fitting the frames. Okay, so we've done that angle. Now the other angle we were looking at earlier is the angle that we call it the uh, pantoscopic tilt, which is the angle of the frame in relation to the face. So you sh should have an angle, for most people, about five degrees. So if it's like, if the glasses are sitting like that, it's too flat, okay? If they're sitting like that, they're too steep. So we use, remember we were using these pliers. So these are the pliers that have got the nylon uh, fitting on them. And the reason that for that is so it does, you don't scratch the frame. So, and what you do is you place those pliers on the lug and then you can just bend it gently and alter that angle. So I'll do it a bit more. And you can see that this angle, you can see that the angle has been increased between the, the side and the front. If I put the glasses down, you know, they won't be the same because I've altered one of these. All right, and um, so usually most people have ears the same height, but not always. So sometimes they need, sometimes if the glasses, for example, are sitting like this, okay, it means that one, it could be that one ear is lower, okay, so you need to adjust each side differently to fit their different ears. The heights of their ears may be different, and that's very common because otherwise the glasses will sit. You see, I've, I've adjusted Remy, and you'll notice if you look Remy at the uh, camera, the glasses are down that side. They're sloping downwards, okay? And uh, so I would need to, if you look at me, Remy's got one ear that's a little lower than the other. So what I would do is I would I would adjust the frame up on that side and down on the other and then we would get, that's too much, then we would get a slightly better fit. So there you go, so we've got a frame now that's sitting nice and straight. The length is good, the angle is good, so that's called the tilt, pantoscopic tilt. So they may be different for each side. The other thing we were looking at are the nose pads and we have a special set of pliers for the nose pads which has got a little recess, a flat piece and a recess there. That recess bit fits over the, the back of the pad. Now in Africa, the, your nose is... African nose. African noses are different to the nose in, yeah, in England. My, my nose is very steep. <laughs> And, um, but yours is much flatter, yeah. so you need to adjust the frame to fit your noses, okay? okay. And my nose, or my nose, whichever it may be. <laughs> now, with, with these pads on the metal frames, you can bring the pads out so that they sit further away from, from the face. Now, for some people who've got long eyelashes, you might need to do that. So you can adjust the pad out and you can affect the, the angle of splay. You might need to zoom in on this one um, to show the, the actual angle. So the angle of splay is when you change the, the plane of the pad and you flatten it out so that it fits the contours of the bridge. Okay. So what I've done with this pair is I've put the pads back and I've splayed them and uh, hopefully that combination I would I need to splay them a little bit more for yeah I just needs a little bit more down that side yeah so they're fit, fitting pretty well I'd, I'd need to do a little bit more I would just adjust them I think I've ever done it slightly <laughs> just a little tiny bit but I think we're now ending up with a frame that actually is, is a really good fitting frame. So the pads are fitting correctly on the nose, the side lengths are the correct length, they're sitting nice and down, the bend is correct. If you look sideways, if we can see that angle, 
that angle is good. So I would be very happy with that and I think the, the customer would be very happy, the patient would be very happy to have a pair of glasses that, that fitted like that. That was comfortable. Did they feel comfortable, Remy? Yeah. Yes. Okay, that's good.